keep my chest forward. Mm -hmm. My head also comes forward when I feel like I'm okay. going forward with too much. Show me, show me. Yeah, yeah. Across here. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like my head, well, when I try to bring it to the correct position, I feel like I don't really have anything underneath me. Mm -hmm. So I want to maintain this position here, but only my head is. Uh, so let, let me show you, first of all, like I say, from the side, when you like do that position again, mm -hmm. you see. Uh, to create good position, take a look to the side. You see, you have to still have a little bit line. Yeah, this way. Mm -hmm. You see what you were doing? And you were doing something. You see, yeah. So first of all, it has to be a, a same line. And it's like, it's very close to be a straight line. But now in, inside that straight line, we're doing that manipulation where you become over. So we manipulate our middle and chest, we try not to move our head. So get to the straight position, oh, like this. So you see I have a perfect straight line and the head in a very beautiful position. So now you manipulate a little bit in the tummy and in the chest and getting a little bit over. It's like you're not playing with body parts, you're more focusing on creating a space in front of you. Yeah, so you see, not this, but this, this creating space in front of you. And also remember for the good position, which is the, the most important for you, start with the knees, press your knees back. And you, when you press your knees back, it's slightly tilting your body. Yeah, very good. And now the next thing is like, you have to, for the position, you have to try to move inside position. You have to like do movements, you have to move. And then you will self adjust because it's not like, you know, you're gonna stand you can do this drill for a couple time and check yourself in the side, but now you have to start doing movements in it. What is number one movement? You can do a melting into bone, the Cuban motion. And as you do it, try to, by doing that position, you see, you're in very good position, but when you do Cuban motion, you're not uh, creating more of that position. But look, whatever you You create more because every action later become a movement boom and you more you want to always move into the space you create through that posture you see this is my normal and this is my dynamic position and now I start doing my action and I move inside that space I created so you constantly have that space yeah walk and Walk and walk. Very nice. And walk and walk. So what I recommend for you from what looking what you do, try to do this drill. Like stay sideways to the middle and do a Cuban motion, melt into bone, and same time create the drifting movement of the spine. So where you already have that drift forward yes 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 because every time you squeeze you have to you have to have that forward inclination and then it's become a walk yeah very good mm -hmm. walk 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 and also do, do some sections of movement let's say what is your uh, what do you do your periodic for example you start here right and two and three and four and so this will be a good drill to practice because that's what you're going to add that's what you're going to lead and two and three and four and two and three and four and two and another square three and four and two and three and out also let's say when you don't, don't have a partner i mean which i like to practice only with the partner let's say if you don't have a partner if you're really doing it well i should be able to see almost like you are sending the air there then you invite that her here then you turn like she's almost here so you you see like see i'm driving you see i'm attached her 
You see, I'm pushing away from her womb. You see, she's here. So I'm, I'm really like dancing and she's here. You see her here? And this, that, this is that space which uh, the correct posture gives you. If you overanalyze, like, oh, my head here. Don't overanalyze, just get position, try moving it. It's more like about the space you create. So dance this again and try to make me see your partner, where is your partner, through that space you create. And so, yes, yeah, she's there, and then you send her. Yeah, well, listen, you will, continue, you will watch this video, the first video, because you didn't have this idea in your mind. You were doing just like a proper action, and they were very small, and they had no story, they had nothing. And now, now you start, because you imagine she's there, you're already compressing to each other. Boom, now you're sending her there. Now you invite her here. Boom. And so now, now your actions become like a elite. Because that so your actions could never be like a girl. A girl can stand and she's this squeezing and she's just dancing. Uh, for the guys, it, I don't recommend that. I don't recommend just dance for you. Like never dance. You have to constantly Everything you do is, has a projection to her. Let's say if you stand, you project. If you dance, that dance, it's tell her to go somewhere. Or let's say tell her that you are going somewhere. But like you cannot just dance for the ballroom dance. To me, it's not then it kind of lose a little bit of that masculinity. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. So when you practice by yourself, which is I don't really recommend much, but if you practice by yourself. Make me see her through your movement. Yeah? So, the, That transition wasn't good, but uh, so that was very good because I almost can see. Also here, I think when you're passing her in, I want you to have that frame so I see where she's in that frame. Walk, you pivot her, and you have to really with your eyes, with your mind, visualize like you're sending her there, and then you bring her back, then you send her there, and then she moving crab walk as you walk, and walk. And then you start her here, boom. As you turn her, you see you with your hip, you can do with your body like a circle. So you turn her, then she's there, boom. You pull away, bring her in, catch her here, boom. You turn her there. Yeah. So you're basically focusing on every step she's taking through your body, through your movement, and through your dynamic posture. So take it from that, take it from where you send her here for that second opening up. One. She's going back. No, no, but you, you, because there is more things here to happen. But she is going back. You send, send her back. You need to invite her here. You need her there. You need, and you need to do something there, which is, makes all of this happen. So for example, I'm here. I'm sending her there. Who are bringing her to me. I send her away. Whoa, and invite her for the crowd walk. You, you have to, you know, in your body everything. Yeah? Send her there, say, yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah, very good. Then you invite her, then you have to kind of stop her, so I will point side. Whoa, you make her turn, make her turn there, and then you invite her, whoa, and turn there. Then she straightens her leg, you put her down, you open, boom, you swing her into lunge, you hug her, boom, you turn her, and you press her down. Boom, you spiral, see, you spiral her with your position, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then when, she, when uh, she will dance with you, it will feel, you know, different. Yeah. 